Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today we are going to start with the next including section of introduction to mixtures and their separation with gas and gas mixture separation where we are going to learn about three methods. First is diffusion, second solvent extraction, third is liquefaction. So let's start one by one and understand all these methods. First is diffusion. So friends, if we talk about the properties of gases, we have three properties like density, solubility and temperature where these three properties of gases have different for each gas like it varies to gas and gas by using these properties we have three methods for density we have diffusion solubility we have solvent extraction and for temperature we also call it critical temperature we use this method which is called liquefaction by using this property of gas now let's understand how density property is used in diffusion method so friends as name implies diffusion which means lighter gas diffuses more rapidly compared to the heavier one how let's first write what is diffusion method it is the method used to separate mixture of gases right by using the property called density now let's come up to how how diffusion use the property of density by to separate the mixture of gases as we know different gas have different density for example hydrogen vapor density is 1 ammonia having 8.5 carbon monoxide have about 14 vapor density nitrogen have almost same let's call them lighter than air but there are some more gases which are heavier than air for example oxygen hydrogen chloride carbon dioxide and chloride or say chlorine as oxygen have a vapor density of 16 hydrogen chloride have 18.25 carbon dioxide is about 22 chlorine is about 35.5 so friends what we see here is lighter gas diffuses more rapidly as compared to the heavier one so a mixture of gas like say hydrogen and oxygen can be separated by this method because hydrogen which is lighter diffuses first let's write down very important point lighter gas diffuses first right so this is the theory which lies in the method of diffusion if you want to separate the gas from a mixture we have and if we know the vapor density power we can separate them by this method so let's come to the next method which is solvent extraction 
solvent extraction we have done in earlier separating methods in other mixtures similarly here solvent means the mixing of solute and solvent where solvent we take as a water or any other liquid extraction let's understand what is solvent extraction method we know friends some gas dissolve either in water or you know, in in other particular solvent where some don't or some are very slightly dissolvable so we can by using the method of solubility we can dissolve we can extract the gases which are either soluble or either not sol insoluble in water or in a, some particular solvent so what is now is the method is solvent extraction we can say this method is used to separate mixture of gases by using the property of solubility as we know different gases have different solubility power now how it uses as i have just told you that many gas dissolve in water many doesn't so this implies that if we take one volume of water at standard temperature and pressure and we try to dissolve in water let's see which gases are not soluble in water and almost the other which are insoluble in water for example carbon dioxide is soluble in water chloride is also soluble in water sulfur dioxide ammonia these all gases are basically soluble in water soluble in water and if we talk about the insoluble gases like nitrogen hydrogen gas carbon monoxide oxygen these gases are very 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 slightly we can say almost insoluble in water they are very very negligible dissolvable in water so we actually call them insoluble we can say they are insoluble in water so by using this property and by using this information we can extract gases of mixture by using this property let's for example if we want to separate ammonia and nitrogen by using this method where the ammonia dissolves and leave behind the nitrogen in water we can also take an example of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide let's write carbon dioxide and here carbon monoxide we have just seen that carbon dioxide is soluble in water let's write water soluble whereupon carbon monoxide is insoluble in water so how will we separate this mixture we can separate as if when we try to dissolve this these mixture in water co2 will get dissolved and leave behind the carbon monoxide or if this mixture is made to pass through a monical cuprous chloride solution carbon monoxide will dissolve and leave behind the carbon dioxide that is the other solvent than water where carbon dioxide is insoluble in other solvent let's up take the ammonical cuprous chloride and carbon monoxide is actually this soluble in this particular solvent that is ammoniacal cuprous chloride 
So by this method also we can separate carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Either of the solvent can be used to separate these two mixtures. Now let's friends come to the next liquefaction. Liquefaction as name implies we liquefy the gas into liquid form that is we change the states of the gases from gas to liquid. How do we do that and how do we separate? Let's write liquefaction. So what is this method? This method is used to separate mixtures of gases by using the property of temperature. We can also call this critical temperature as many gases have different temperature at which they convert themselves into liquid form. See we call that particular temperature as a critical temperature. So how is this method works? As we know some gases easily liquefy by using or by applying pressure and lowering the temperature and by others don't as they are the different critical temperature of different gases they vary from gas to gas so those gases which easily liquefy like carbon dioxide and ammonia and can be separated from those that are don't easily going to liquefy like oxygen and nitrogen we can separate this mixture by using this method so let's write down how do we do that by applying pressure and lowering the temperature. By doing this, some gases liquefy and some don't. Let's take an example. I take an example of carbon dioxide plus nitrogen where applying the pressure and lowering the temperature carbon dioxide will liquefy and nitrogen will not so here we can separate these two gases by using this method of liquefaction so friends let's conclude all these three methods diffusion which is the gases can be separated by property of density as the lighter diffuses more rapidly than the heavier one. Second is solvent extraction. This method is used by applying the property of solubility as many gases dissolve in water or the other solvent but some gases don't. Third is liquefaction. This method is used to separate gases by lowering the temperature and applying the pressure on them to liquefy. So friends here I end up with this session. Now it's your time to do an activity. You just have to revise this video twice. In the next session we are going to understand and discuss the methods of separation of liquid and gas mixture and the very important of all the separation for the complex mixtures is the chromatography. Thank you friends for attending this session.